Watson and Jaron Skier are players. Uh, Tony Watson, career high 24 tonight, and Javon McCray, career high 16 rebounds. Most by UB players since uh, Calvin Betts had 18 uh, in the quarterfinals of the 2009 MAC tournament against uh, Kent State. So, <coughs> Coach, whenever you're ready, we're going to open up the statement and we'll uh, take questions. Uh, I thought overall it was one of our best team defensive efforts. I thought we did a pretty good job of keeping them out of the paint. And they're a good team. And um, I, I, I thought we, we kept them from getting easy baskets for the most part. And I thought offensively we moved the ball with some rhythm and some poise and uh, took advantage of our openings. Um, defensively, you know, with, with Pearson, what did what did you want to make him do or prevent him from doing? He was pretty hot coming into the game. Yeah, we wanted to make his touches tough. We, want, we, we didn't want him to be able to catch the ball easily and comfortably. Um, we wanted to make him really work to catch the basketball so he didn't just catch it on his spot in rhythm. And then I thought, uh, I thought um, w once we did that, I, I thought our, our team defense was pretty good. Uh, but I thought Warren burned really good energy. Uh, keeping him from just getting easy shots, and I think that, uh, his teammates did a great job too. Tony, totally, could you chime in on that just defensively? Yeah. Um, but before the game, the coaches harped on uh, never being one on one, and uh, Orm did an excellent job on making every uh, catch that he had tough, and we were in the ball box to help him out, and uh, Javon was there to clean it up. So it was a team effort. And scoring wise, he was just shooting from all over the place. It seemed like. I yeah, we 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 were in rhythm tonight. Uh, Co Coach says after the game that this is one of, one of our best performances defensively, and we always say that defense leads to offense. So um, if we continue to play great defense, our offense will take care of itself. Tony, you were real on tonight, and you've been real on for a couple games now. Uh, you had a dry spell early in the season. What what turned that around? Um, the coaches. I mean, they always tell us to keep shooting, stay confident, uh, trust yourself. Trust your teammates, um, trust your training. So uh, we keep our heads on straight and we shoot when we're supposed to. We'll, we'll, we'll find uh, our rhythm. Coach, can you talk about Javon uh, rebounding today? It seemed like he really had the nose for the ball. He was going at you know, pretty hard today down low. Yeah, we still want to see him get more offensive rebounds, but I thought that um, he was in traffic a couple times, and I thought those traffic rebounds, when everybody's going for him, Kind of separates the, the good rebounds from the great rebounds. When you can, when you can come out of there and everybody's going for it, and he had a number of those, particularly in the first half. I think he had a double double at halftime. Um, so, I think he just did a really good job of making sure that if he got two hands, and for the most part, they poked one out of there. But for the most part, if he got two hands on it, we kept control of the ball. Javon, could you talk a little bit about your performance rebounding tonight? I just wanted to stay aggressive. I knew if I stay strong in the rebounds and also to come to me. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Do you like those physical battles down low? Do you like having to get your nose dirty for those kind of rebounds and stuff? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It makes me feel like I'm tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jerry, just talk about the shooting overall for the team tonight. 51%, 50 from three. I think that started with the pace. We were pushing the ball, moving the ball around, and everyone knew where the shots were coming from. That was a big part of it. Uh, Jaren, you just want to talk about your freshman. These guys are upperclassmen. Uh, what that means to be an underclassman, be able to contribute on a team like this? Uh, it means a lot. I'm just trying to do whatever I need to do to win. Basically, and I don't really see myself as a freshman anymore. I'm just trying to play. Jaren, with only 11 turnovers in the game for the team, does that come with better offense? Because it seemed like the ball was it wasn't sticking. It was moving real well inside yeah. and outside. Does that come? Does less turnovers come with? You know, better ball movement from better, you and everyone? Yeah, better ball movement and less has a hesitation on offense. We knew where the ball was going to go, and we just saw the floor. Press the ball. Tony, can you chime in on that? Yeah, we, we were confident tonight, and, and we knew what we were doing. And as long as we, you know, continue to bring bring that energy and effort and continue to move the ball, we'll get open shots, and we won't turn the ball over. Coach, earlier in the season, you had maybe one guy maybe two get double digit scoring and the last couple of games it seemed like you've consistently had three four guys up there and you know a couple other with eight or nine points what's changed well one of the things uh, is that we we're having five guys play a whole lot of minutes and so you know that helps if you're playing a lot of minutes you're going to get more opportunities to score but i think the 
the biggest thing is now having our guys move the ball and trust that if it finds rhythm, we'll find open shots, as opposed to making a pass or two and then holding it to see and look for open shots. If we if we move it, it'll it'll find it, it, the opening will will find itself, and um, it, that takes trust. Uh, we're still fighting ourselves a little bit every now and then, but um, if we move it, we're going to find an open shot. And do you think what, what's contributed to having five guys play most of the minutes? Has that been just later in the season? You think you can push them a little harder? Well, a couple things. Um, they're playing well. Um, Tonight we were down another guy with Rafael Thomas Edwards not being available to us. Um, and, you know, I just think when they're playing well, we don't want to put in, once we started to start Tony, um, we don't want to put a guy in off the bench where he can't afford to make a single mistake. So I think tonight we, you know, we got Tony a lot of rest. As you can see, he only played 37 out of 40. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we can get, you know, I thought the minutes that Corey Ray Ross played were big because it got us a chance to rotate and get guys a little bit of time off the court, on the bench, get some water, towel off, see the game, and then get back in the game. Anything else? You all set? Okay. Thanks, guys.